Hi guys, I'm Brian and take a look at these ads. They weren't made in Canva, Photoshop or Premiere Pro. I simply sent a product photo to a chat and this AI agent created a complete ad campaign. It generated both the product poster and the video ad with visuals, music and text automatically. Each ad looks polished, professional and ready to post on social media or use in a campaign. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own marketing ads AI agent step by step using NA10. This is one of the easiest ways to create a marketing content that saves time and maintains quality. And the best part is, you can build it yourself. So let's get started. To create a marketing ads AI agent, we are going to do six steps. The first step is to get the workflow. To get the workflow, click the link in the description, click download, and the marketing ads AI agent workflow will be downloaded. In order to download this workflow, you need to have the NA10 hosting on WebSpace Kit. Since I've already logged in, it will download directly. You can watch this video to learn how to set up the NA10 hosting on WebSpace Kit. Alright, once you've got the hosting and you've downloaded the workflow, go to your NA10 account, click start from scratch. Now click here and select import from file and upload the workflow file you just downloaded with our workflow imported. Let's now rename it as Marketing Ads Creator and save the workflow. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. Now let's go to the second step, which is to connect Telegram to NA10. We're using Telegram so that we can make marketing ad requests to the AI agent from our phone. So to connect Telegram to N8N, click on the Telegram trigger node. Now open the Select Credential dropdown we need to create new credentials here. Let's open a new browser tab. Here search for telegram.org and press enter. Okay, let's click on the search bar. We need to search for bot father. Perfect. Let's select the bot father from the results. Now click the start button to begin. Let's click on the new bot command. I'll name our bot Marketing Ads Creator. Send that message. Next, we need a username for the bot. I'll enter add copy 50 underscore bot and send. Perfect. Our bot is created and here's the API key we need. Now let's copy the API key and head back to N810 and paste it here. Perfect. Now let's save these credentials. We can close this Telegram account modal and let's get back to our workflow canvas. Now let's click on the setbot ID node and paste your API token here. Go back to Telegram, click on this link and click start. Now come back to N810, go to the canvas. Great, we have now successfully connected Telegram to N810. All right. Let's go to the third step, which is to connect OpenAI to NA10. OpenAI will analyze a product image and generate prompts for the image and the video ads. So to connect OpenAI to NA10, open this node, click here and select create new credentials. This is where we need to enter the API key. To get the API key, click the link given in the description. Now log into OpenAI using your Google account. Click create new secret key. Here give your key a name and click create secret key. As you can see, we now have our API key. Now I'll copy this API key. Back to our NN workflow tab. Now I'll paste the API key into the credential field. Let's save this OpenAI credential. I'll close this credential modal and return to the main canvas. Since we have few more OpenAI nodes to configure them, just open the nodes one by one and they will be connected to N8N. Great. We have now successfully connected OpenAI to N8N. Now let's move on to the fourth step, which is to connect Google Sheets to N8N. Google Sheets is where all the image and video ad links will be stored so that we can access them easily. So to connect Google Sheets to N8N, click here. Let's select our credential from the drop down. Here we need to enter credentials for Google Sheets. If you don't know how to generate these credentials, watch this video where I show exactly how to set them up for Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Docs 
and other Google Apps. Okay, once you have added the credentials and closed this model. Next, click the Sheets link in the description and it will open this template. Let's make a copy of this template to our own Google Drive. Let me scroll through the spreadsheet so you can see all the columns where our marketing ads data will be stored. Now let's head back to N810. Click here and select the sheet you just created. Now let's head back to N810. Next, we'll configure the Get Rose node to complete our Google Sheets setup. First, let's select the document. Choose the Copy of Ad Copy Sheet from the drop-down and select Sheet 1. Let's add a filter to only get specific rows. We need to set which column to filter by. Choose Image Status as our filter column. Type Create as the value we want to filter for. Now let's go back to the canvas. We have now successfully connected Google Sheets to N8N. So like this, connect the other Google Sheets too. So let's go to the fifth step, which is to connect Key AI to N8N. Now Key AI is an AI image and video generation tool that we are going to use to generate the ad content using the prompt from OpenAI. To connect Key AI, open this node, scroll down, and this is where we need to enter the API key. To get the API key, click the link in the description and it will take you to this page. I'll click get started to begin the sign up process. Let's sign in with the Google account for quick access. Now I'll click explore AI API. Let's click top up to add credits to our account. I'll click buy credits. And click purchase to complete the transaction. Now let's click on API key to get our credentials. I'll copy the API key. Let's switch back to our N8 and workflow tab. Now I'll clear the placeholder text and paste our key AI API key into the value field. Let's go back to the canvas. All right, we have now successfully connected KIAI to N8N. Now let's go to the sixth step, which is to connect Google Drive to N8N. Google Drive is used to store the generated image and video files, and then those links are added to the Google Sheet. So to connect Google Drive to N8N, click here, and select Create New Credentials. Here enter your Google Credentials, Close this, click here and select root folder. Now go back to canvas. Since we have one more Google Drive node, just open it and it will be configured. Perfect. We have now successfully connected Google Drive to N8N. Now that all our credentials are configured, let's save the workflow by clicking here. With everything saved, we're ready to execute our workflow manually and see it in action. So let's click execute workflow. Now the workflow is running and we can trigger it by sending a message through Telegram. So let's send a product image via Telegram. I'll select this Lace Chips image as our test product. Let's open that file. Now I'll add a caption telling the bot to make an ad for this Lace Chips. And now let's send this to trigger our automation. With our image sent, let's check out the generated ad assets in our Google Sheets. Now let's check our Google Sheets to see what the workflow generated. First, let's click on the image link to see the generated ad image. As you can see, we got a professional product shot complete with a suitable background, a model and a tagline, all following a consistent color palette. And now let's check out the video link to see our generated ad video. And here it is, professional looking ad video with animated visuals and background audio that fits really well. Let's also look at the image link in the second row. And finally, let's check the video link in the second row as well. Perfect. Our workflow is creating multiple ad variations automatically. Now let's activate it for live views. Let's switch back to our and workflow tab. Now let's activate our workflow by toggling it to active. And we'll confirm the activation. Now that our workflow is live and running automatically, let's test it with another product image. Let's switch back to Telegram Web. Now I'll attach another product image. I'll select a photo or video. I'll choose this image of Oats Cookies. Let me open that file. I'll add a caption asking for an ad for these Sunfeast Farmlight Cookies with 25% extra. Now let's send this request to our bot. With our second test image sent, Let's check out the ad assets it generates. 
Let's go back to our Google Sheets to check the new ad assets. First, let's open the image link to see the generated ad image. Now let's check out the video link to see the ad video. Let's also review the image from our second row of results. And finally, let's see the second video that was generated. There you have it, a fully automated marketing ad creation system using NA10. You now have a workflow that can take any product image sent via Telegram and automatically generate professional ad copy, images and videos. The automation saves everything to Google Sheets and Google Drive, making it easy to access and use your marketing materials. So that's it guys, this is how you can build and run your own marketing ad creating automation using NA10. Now it's your turn, go ahead and give it a try. And if you found this video helpful, do give it a like and subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.